hi my name is deepak and uh, today we will discuss that uh, how we will configure the static uh, or default route on uh, avaya office manager 5000 with uh, currently i am using the office manager version is 10.1 maybe you can use the 9.1 also or 8.1 also there is the same settings there some functionality difference is there and uh, uh, here you can see that i have the two uh, two interfaces the lan 1 and lan 2 there are the two interface on the our uh, office manager hardware its uh, name is called a lan and wan and you can see this the lan 1 and lan 2 one is ip is 192.168.4.0 series and second lan uh, ip is 192.168.43.1 here you can see this config let's we go uh, on ip route you can see that this is the ip route is the nothing is ip ip route we we need to configure that ip route we just click on the ip route and uh, if we want to configure the default route then enter the only just default setting and 00.00 ip address is 40 and uh, mask is also forge zero and uh, gateway is but you can send use for that one nine uh, sorry 192 168 42.254 uh, is my gateway you can suppose that okay here is the lan 1 and 2 and uh, uh, remote manager is there and uh, you can see in the lan manager one uh, sorry lan interface one i have the same subnet assigned on the 192.168.42.0 i'm assigning the same thing this is the metric you can configure here but the metric by default you can now this is the zero metric and if you want to change that you can change as according to that if you, if you are using the two or more than two uh, uh, default route then we will configure this route uh, proxy arp mm, is dependent you but by default we are not using the proxy arp and I click on ok now when you see that i have configured the default route here mm, and see that i will tell you say so is something this is the default route is configured here and if we will you can see that like this here you can see correctly 0.0.0, .0 get with this uh, why I have configured the this IP? This I, I have configured the this IP because this IP is belong to uh, mm, uh, gateway of uh, uh, my voice villain. So I am using that one hundred one sixty forty two dot two fifty four, and this the destination interface is there. Destination interface is there. The two interface on the wire. This I previously I told you that LAN one and LAN two, and uh, this my subnet is assigned. Uh, 192.162.42.0 is assigned on LAN 1 so I selected here LAN 1 be careful during uh, in the time of selecting the destination interface there are three types of the destination you can see the LAN 1, LAN 2 and uh, the remote manager and just click you click on ok and after that you, you will click on the save and uh, uh, you can merge the setting it will be uh, um, saved on the uh, ip office manager hardware if your setting will be not saved that will be not reflect on your device and that will be not work after saving the configuration from the ip office man manager it will work otherwise it will be not work so i hope now you can understand that how you will be configured the default route uh, on the avaya office and uh, now I will be tell, mm, uh, telling you that how you will be configure the static route on uh, your uh, Avaya system. The same thing and click on the new and new IP route. Here I will be configure the new IP route. You suppose that my new subnet is 192.168.20.0 series is there. And uh, this is my subnet mask for the uh, remote uh, sub uh, subnet is 2255.255.255.0 and uh, the gateways uh, will be the same 192.168.40.254 uh, and uh, there's the same setting is there 
for the residential lane also and click on zero you can see that i have configured the two routes here you can see that one is uh, the first one is a default route and second two is a static route if you will configure the default route then no need to configure the static route but sometimes we need to, to configure on a static route due to the security purpose or uh, uh, some routing loop may be to live routing loop or uh, many of the reasons depend on the administrator and uh, organization requirement and uh, network configuration network design and this depend on the different different method there the two thing is uh, one is the default route and uh, static route i hope you now you can understand that uh, how you will be configured the default route and static route uh, if you like this video please click on the live button or subscribe the video thank you so much for your uh, timing have a nice day thank you